you doing my daddy's phone, you fool? Thief! Give my daddy the phone. Are you okay? Baby. Babe. Daddy! Uh, back. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Mm, how are you? I'm fine, Daddy. How are you? And how was your day? Uh, well, it was okay. I had a series of meetings. Um, they were good. All geared towards the growth of the company. That's right. So, on your day, how was your school? Mm, could have been better. Okay. But I had to drive myself here, considering how hectic Lagos traffic is. Oh, so suicidal and so oh, tired, dear. Daddy. Oh, dear, my dear. But I, I drove myself, too. You did? Yes, you know, the driver left without a word. I told you, let's trace him and arrest him. Oh. But you're too lenient with them. Oh, you want me to kill everybody around? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I so hungry, Daddy. Right. Let me check if there's food in the house. Great. I think she's prepared something. All right. Ah. What? Daddy! Yes, there's no food. She hasn't made anything. Omo! Please, it will be ready soon. Omo! What did I employ you to do in this house? Besides the cook, but the laundry man. What business am I having with the laundry man? What did I employ you here to do, Omo? Besides the cook. I'm your boss. I have no food to eat. And she's shouting. What's happening? I'm sorry, sir. Tomorrow you put yourself in it. Sorry for yourself. Now would you get out of my sight? By the time I go up and come back, I want to see this table laid with different meals, or I'll just sack you. All right, dear, take it easy. I had a long day to come and face this thing with that damn cook. Good morning, Daddy. Oh, sunshine. Good morning. Mm. Are you ready for school? Yes, Daddy. Oh, take some meat. Okay. Thank you, Daddy. Mm. I told you, that poor girl is anything but a bad cook. Oh, please. You're so dumb to irritate me. Oh. oh, sweetheart, you don't have to be a professor to be a good cook. <laughs> you only need common sense. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, now you're ready for school. You don't want to drive because of traffic. How are you going to do it? Oh, George is coming to drive me to school. George? Mm -hmm. Is he back? I thought he was in the United States. Daddy, this means to me. It's okay, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> he came back yesterday. Really? And he called me if I slept. Oh, and he's taking you to school this morning. Mm -hmm. mm, he must be a good man. I got the best one, Daddy. I can see. <gasps> hey, boo. Aha, Sonny. Okay, that's the young man. Yeah, now come here, come here. Yes, sir. Yeah, the uh, young man, Sonny, uh, called to be my driver. Yes, sir. And your hair is like this? And you drive? Yes, sir. What's your name? I'm a Fini, sir. How long have you been driving? Ten years, sir. So how long have you known my, my gate? Who says he knows you? From my former workplace, sir. We, we used to work together. So why did you leave the place? Um, they relocated. Our employee. Well, I need to test you. So I'm going to change and I come out and then uh, you drive me around and I know how far you can drive. Thank you, sir. Okay? Thank you, sir. So wait for me there. Sonny, let him wait for me there. Because of you. Hmm? Because say 
him be your brother. Thank you, God. Don't worry. You see, if it, if in a very correct, responsible, hard-working boy, don't worry. You're good for the job. You're good. I believe you. I believe you. I see the boy as a good boy. Hmm? Yes. Don't worry. For God, make sense. I don't know what I do, chief daughter. Why should they disrespect me? Why should they treat me like trash? I don't know what I do. If you make me recommend that, make if they go, make she employ if she, you know, go even I go just say, eh, she go cross them like this. I'm not good now. I'm not good. Uh, see, eh? See that girl, chief daughter. She rude small. For that reason, you say rude small. Rude small. <laughs> See, I because say, not I tell you, I because say, chief and madam, they look for Peking for more than 10 years. That's why I didn't come Pampara. Come, see, she did five years I come this place for this house. Now I don't stay here more than 18 years. But I've listened. Even do say, madam, don't they for 10 years? You know, rich for them today, they're disrespectful. Now, because say, you, she don't see you like almost papa, now you make sure they disrespect you. Mm -hmm. Me, we don't see you for four years, and call. If not me, they are level, you know, when my papa get this kind of money, it's not like they treat people the way she they treat us. No, she know, I don't want to treat people like that. Now, the way she, she not just her character, not just her papa. See, no. when I know with the center, I know with the way where they train you, and they train now. You understand? We are be two different people, so don't worry yourself. Hmm? Don't be even waiting to carry me come here. Who wants to be carrying me come for my kitchen? Come this side. I think I can't thank you. Oh, my brother, you see you see interview with him. You see interview. I just my thank you. See you don't do well. Thank you. God will bless you. Yes, you don't see if a uh, employee don't go to Canada. If you um, don't return for the job, if you don't because he's good, he's a bit drive well. Hmm. Uh, I think we will do it when I make this thing come mm. happen. Mm. Mm. So, make we could pray. Hmm? Let's speak and pray. I believe my brother will get that job. God will do it. God will do it. As you believe and so, God will do it. Anything where you believe for your mind. It will happen. Thank you. Okay, yeah. I got to cook for you, yeah? Later. You come now. I'm going to make you food come. PM. And this girl has been inside here with her fiance since 6 p.m. I've been driving her all day with no food in my tummy. Hi. What kind of what kind of work is this? Each time I want to step out to go get food, she comes up with a two, two different destination from from. I'm even wondering if she has conscience at all. Mom, I will go find something to chop up. I go find something, something to chop You know, this is how I always miss you whenever you're not around. You know, I got you, baby. <laughs> if I don't cook for you, who am I going to cook for, huh? I love you so much. You're the love of my life, literally. <laughs> mm. 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 <laughs> Where is this? Where did you go to? I don't know. Is it not your driver? Uh, what is the meaning of this? Did he tell you he was going somewhere? No. This is strange. Don't worry, I, I believe he's around. What do you think about my food? <laughs> like I said, you cook so well. I know, right? I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I'll come back for some more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of food are you going to come back for, though? 
the other one. All right. Hey, come back here. Come, come, come. Where did you go to? I'm sorry, ma. Uh, mm -hmm. I was so hungry, so I went to get something to eat. Oh, let me see that. Yeah, ma, it's just bread and... Uh, ma. How dare you? How dare you leave me stranded here? Ma, ma. Now, would you get, a, get over here? Get over here! Oh, oh, open the damn door! Where is you going? Don't worry, I'll open, open the door for I'll me. Open the door for you. Just come. Just come, baby. Shoot baby, me. Come on, open the door for you. Take it easy, my love. I'm allowed to slap his head off. Take it easy, baby. Take it easy. I love you. I love, I love you. you too. <laughs> Daddy. Ah, what happened? You're late. I'm oh, sorry. Ooh. I had other stuff to do after school. So tired. Good evening, sir. Yes, yes. Oh, wait outside for me. I'll see you now. Okay. Well, how was his driving? Well, not bad. He's a lot careful, but he needs to learn some manners. <laughs> My dear. Now you go up and change. Go to the dining and have your meal, hmm? There's food. There is food. If not, I'll just strangle that Omo girl. Oh my god. <laughs> this is my Amatan and <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Omo, she's back. Are you sure I can do this work? <laughs> I mean, I know you told me she, that girl, she can be a little rude sometimes. But what I'm saying is way above that. She doesn't have conscience. She's terrible. Baby, you just have to manage. You know you've been searching for a job. You've been searching for a job for over a year now. You couldn't find one. Just endure and let, her, let it go. Okay? Uh, well, well, wait. Is this what you've been seeing in her hands and you never complained? Omo, you must be a strong woman, though. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever she does stuff like that, I just push it off. You know, you just, it's not everything you have to talk about, you know? It's nothing. You just need the money from now. Okay? You get a better job once it comes. You just have to endure and deal what we have. Okay? Money. Money we want. Don't worry, I'll keep you. You say yes, ma. Yes, sir. Of course, see. Money, we are not in the same level. We are not in the same, you know. She rich, we poor. Do you understand? We are in two separate worlds. Okay? She's terrible. What? <laughs> no pain. I see your pains, you know. Come on. I don't even believe you men sometimes. I mean, I know this is real, but you guys push it too much, don't you? Don't say that. Uh, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not saying that. I don't want women to come for me. Do you want us to switch places? No, don't worry. Maybe for a day so you know how it feels. Uh-uh, don't worry. No, please. No? Thank you. I oh, appreciate you. Just keep it to yourself. Oh, now you're running. You can't I don't, I don't stand even the pain for when, just I, one day. You I can't. don't want to stand the pain of childbirth either. I mean, I give it to you guys. You guys are doing great. <laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> why, why can't you believe me? Because... Please, please, please ma. What, what, what is it? What? Hmm? What is it you want to say so badly that you cannot even wait? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm sorry, ma. I just wanted to find out if I can close for the day. Chief already said I can go, that he's not going out again. Is it closing time yet? No. So why ask that stupid question? I'm sorry, ma. It's just that for the past one week, I've been closing late, later than the official closing 
time. So I, I noticed you got home on time today. I, I was wondering if I could. Uh... Would you just shut it? The air front is standing here and talking back at me. Can you imagine this fool? I wonder where my dad even found him from. Uh, babe, just take it easy. Yeah? Calm down. You don't, have, you don't want to be having high blood pressure because of a driver, yeah? So just, just calm down. Hmm? Young man, look, uh, I think you should leave. When she wants you to dismiss, she'll tell you. Alright? Baby, relax. Are you still there? Look at me. We're having a good time. Take a deep breath in. In? Mm. Come here, let me go. No, don't do that. I'm sorry I'm on my period. You have to understand that. <sighs> Just, right. I just want to put my I'll head here. No, 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 no. Look, since you're on your prayer, nobody no, can talk to you. You're supposed to pamper me, hormones and all that. I'm trying to pamper you no, now. No, you're yeah. just being really rough. Oh, wow. I thought you liked your rough, baby. Mm, no, not today. I'm sick. No problem. Ify. Is everything all right? Ify. It's me spoiled brat. Ify, how do my person hear you? Uh, six. I mean, honestly, it's getting more frustrating here. Ify, just yo, don't worry. It's just for a short period of time. Oh, I want you to always remember whenever she goes off on you unnecessarily, you know what you need to target. Money, money, and your Ify. The only thing you will soon promote and deal. I beg. Effie, please endure. There's always light at the end of the toilet. Endure, be cool. Sister Moy is torn hell. Englishman. Toilet, tunnel, all of them. No be still turn toilet to the enter. Tunnel, enter inside, shit to enter inside. I won't go wash plates. Endure the thing, I don't tell you. Hey, baby boo. Hey boo. Well, Did you see it? What's that? What you went to look for in your car. Yeah, I did. Okay. So where were we, baby? Well, I'm just happy that you're here. I really need a company. My period has been messing with me since morning. Oh, oh. I would have preferred if that was my baby in there, you know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> Come in. What am I here for? Not to leave and love you, baby. That's my work. Soft work, baby. Oh, I love you so much. I believe you, but I love you more. <laughs> no, I love you mm -mm, more. I love you more. I love you more. Should we go to court? I love you. <laughs> oh, yes. Do it as I've told you. You know, um, the things are working for us now. Business is booming. And we're expanding to other countries, okay? So, Get it then and report to me immediately. Hmm? I'll be with you soonest. Okay. Daddy. Yes, darling. We work on weekends too. Mm. I want you to always rest, okay? I want you around for a very long time. My darling, I will be around for a very long time. But you know, business is booming now. I've got to strike the iron while it's hot. <laughs> I admire your tenacity, Daddy. You have it in you. It's in your jeans too. I hope so, because one day I would like to take over and run this company as smoothly as you're doing right now. You will definitely do that, but what you need is eyes to the ground and surround yourself with people who are good, who are loyal. All right? That's very important, right? And George. George is around you now, and I'm glad he loves you. And I love him too, and I love you even more. I love you too. Okay, now I'll run off. I'll see you later, my darling. Okay, daddy. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. so bye-bye. Bye-bye, daddy. Okay, take care. Take care. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know daddy said the same thing. In his words, you are lucky to have George. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Chief is a wise man. He has actually observed the depth of love that I have for you. 
you know, what an elder sees sitting down, even if you jump up or climb an Iroko tree, you may never see that, right? <laughs> Cliché. <laughs> well, I know I'm lucky to have you. Can say that again, baby. Uh, he's calling. Uh, we're not going to live long. Speak of the devil, yeah? <laughs> Hello? Ma, please come home. Ew! What are you doing with my daddy's phone, you fool? Thief! Give my daddy the phone. Your father just slumped. Babe. Are you okay? Baby. Babe. Sandra, I, I know how hard this is for you. And I know it feels terrible. But look, you have to take it easy on yourself. You've been, you've been crying since yesterday. I don't want you to fall sick. Please <laughs> go. <sighs> my dad is gone. He was my only family. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a mom, I don't have a dad, I'm all alone in this world. My dad was the only family I had left. He was my best friend, my only friend. He was my hero. He was my everything. Now that he is gone, what do I what do? What do I do? Where do I go from Sandy, here? Sandy, please. Heart attack? How? How? He lived a healthy lifestyle. He exercised regularly. His meals were prepared in a healthy way. So how come the heart attack is making me feel Sandy, Sandy, I beg you, please stop doing this to yourself. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy, listen to me. Listen to me. Doing this will never bring him back. Look, I can't pretend that I don't understand how this feels, but you don't want to. You don't want to fall sick, do you? Stop. This explains why I have to go get your stuff, because you need to be here with me. I need to keep an eye on you. Baby girl, please. Sandy, are you even listening to me? Sorry. Sorry, my love. So, uh... Sandra is with me and she's going to be with me for a while. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe after the burial she'll come back whenever she feels like. Okay. So in the meantime, I just need you to take care of the house. Okay, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Cheer up. Cheer up. Life is a tragedy. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Why? Why? 
is so unpredictable. So unpredictable. Still can come to terms with this. When you have to have it, why? Such a sad incident. He was talking to me. Chief was talking to me. But he just slumped. He slumped. What, what could have happened? What could have... What, what could have gone wrong? What? 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 <laughs> Shut up, she confirmed it was cardiac arrest. <laughs> cardiac arrest. No. This feels like a nightmare. This can be happening. Cardiac arrest, Chief. <sighs> what do we do now? We, 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 don't forget, mother. We have to wait until she comes back. Okay. We can't just leave this house like that now. You know who they fair. You know who they fair. If they trust me. We push it, we may do it together. Trust me. Yeah? We did this together. Morning, sunshine. Baby. Good morning. I got your breakfast. Um, thank you, but I'm not hungry. Come on, baby. This is exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. Look, what has happened has happened. I'm not trying to say it's easy. I know how it feels, but you have to be strong. Be strong for daddy, be strong for me, be strong for us. Please. Look, you have a lot of things before you. You finished your exams, your final exams. But you have your project defense. You have a lot of things that I need you to focus. You need to be strong. My love, stop, okay? Don't start, don't start. <sighs> You're gonna eat that food, yeah? Just take it easy. I love you. I'm here for you, don't worry. Okay? Babe. I'm happy that you're finally leaving this house. That's the right thing to do, okay? Thank you. We should actually go to your dad's company. It's been four weeks now since he passed. We need to know what's going on there. Huh? Yes, you're right. I was so devastated. I couldn't even think. We can go. I also want to go to the house and get the rest of my stuff. I don't want to stay there. Babe, you can stay here for as long as you want, okay? As long as you want. I got you. Thank I you. love you. Oh, oh. This life, this life, 
Never you lose down on yourself. Never you give up on yourself. Oh. Babe, I actually don't understand these records so well. I think I have to take them to the office and check with my accountant. Okay. Do what you have to do, okay? No problem. Ah, you're still around, too. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? Baby, come. Come here, baby. Don't think about it too much, yeah? Thank you so much, Us. I'm very happy to have you. Always be here for you. Thank you. Huh? Thank you for being here. It's fine. Every day, baby. Anytime. <sighs> Babe, maybe there's a problem. Your dad's uh, book of accounts have been audited and it's not really looking funny at all. Okay, what, what happened? The company has lots of debts. I mean, it's almost bankrupt. What? Well, the only good news is that uh, there's a yet to yield investment that he made with TST Vista and Angel Limited and um, the manager was saying that with four million naira we can facilitate things. I don't have that kind of money. I only have about... Close to 2.5. 2.5. Well, that's not a problem. I'll make it up to 4 million. Yeah? Thank you. It's fine. It's fine. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry anymore, baby. Just stop already, yeah? Stop crying. I got you. Hmm? Come on. Clean those tears now. Don't worry. I'll never leave you, baby. Hmm? I can't believe that is true. I can't believe all this was happening and my dad never told me. Honestly, um, I'm quite confused too. What do I do? <sighs> Don't worry, baby. From henceforth, you're my responsibility and I'll take care of you. Huh? Thank you so much. How would I have done without you? I probably would have died on the God forbid. Come on, baby, don't talk like that. I can't even imagine that, please. What do I do? <sighs> don't worry, we'll find a way. I think we should think about reviving your dad's company, huh? How do I do that? I wish there was a way. There's always a way out. I mean, your dad has lots of properties, right? The one you're currently staying in is about 400 million naira worth of money. So you can sell it and use the money and revive your dad's company now. You know, I've been into business, so uh, I know how these things work. I'm, I mean, I've been into business, so I know how these things work. You think it's smart? I mean, how is that also a form of investment, you know? Babe, well, at the end of the day, it's your decision to make. But if you ask me, I think it's, it's better we revive the company. I'll tell you why. Your dad has built a brand over decades, you know? Revive the company, even if it's in some states. When you make more money, you can buy more houses. It's simple. Uh, well, um, I'll consider reselling. All right. Okay, uh, that's all. Oh. Yeah. Hello? Okay, well, we're on our way. We're just a few blocks away. Okay. What's she saying? She said that there are people in the house who are able to meet with me. Oh, okay. We're close already now. Don't worry. You worry too much, baby. Ah, God. We are from the Asset and Liability Department of Moment International Bank. Your late father took a loan from us and he was unable to pay. Although he begged for grace and the grace was granted, but he couldn't meet up. Mm -hmm. 
considered in the document. So, having exhausted all means of getting the loan cleared, as it is now, we are at the stage of recovery. So, we are here for the property which your dad used as a collateral. Why didn't your dad talk about this? Um, I don't know. Hey, this is bad business decision. What are you saying? Hey, all I'm saying is that this is not good. I'm, I'm really worried about you. Look at it now. It's, it's a very bad loan. No, I'm not going to take this. I can't settle for this. This is my home. I live there. Madam, madam, you have seven days to evacuate from this property. You can call your lawyer for more clarification. But for now, we'll be able to take our leave. Good decision. company was doing so well already. He did all this because he wanted to expand abroad. All for what? Exactly my point. Unhealthy competition. I mean, he was doing well already. Why did he have to do all that? Collecting loans upon loans. It's, it doesn't make sense business-wise. What are you saying? Please show some respect to the dead. That, that was my father. Look, I'm just being honest. What I'm saying is, is what's up? Be careful what you say to people. Be careful what you do to people. What goes up, what should come down. Life's not the way we think. Life to change. Change your plan. Don't feel like you own the world. Life to change. Change your plan. Don't feel like you own the world. Sorry I didn't tell you. I just needed some closure. I needed some closure. You know that and I had a lot of memories here. Good memories. It's just I just wanted to relish those moments, even if it's for the last time. Okay. See you soon.
What is the meaning of this? Don't you know me? George is my fiance. You know me. I, I come here all the time. I know no other travel. You have seen me here with George, right? To where? There's no way George will travel without telling me. You're lying. I'm sure George is inside. It's a matter they don't travel. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! What is wrong with you? Let me in! Let me in! George! <laughs> what are you doing here? What do you want? Get out! Get out! <laughs> George not picking his call. I'm sorry, ma. I think he doesn't want to pick. I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Do you have something to say or are you just going to keep saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like a fool? I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you say I'm sorry one more time, I swear to God, I will stone you with this phone. to go. What? Ma. Ma, I just wanted to know that where there is life, there is hope. Are you sure about that? No. Please don't say that, Ma. Um, this is not the end of the world. You just have to stay hopeful. Um, you both are leaving already. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, I'm... I'm not able to pay your no, salary. It's okay. You understand what is going on. You know, I know the bank people will be coming here to shut down the house. I don't know what you're going to do. We will go stay and the security man too will follow go. You know, what you go do? I don't even know. I can't wait to judge. I went back to his house, but they won't let me in. Now it's beginning to make sense. Now I'm beginning to understand exactly what happened. I even transferred him almost everything because I thought he was going to help me. I'm not close to any of my relatives because they always envied my dad. And I can't start calling them now because I'm in need. I don't have any friends. I don't even know what to do. I don't have money. I don't know where to go. The car is the only thing left of my father's house. You can come with us. What? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's not that. It's not the day like this one. Uh, you could just manage until you gather for this small thing. You sleep on your way. You know? You just run it. He's so nice to me. Oh, it's God. You know, I got the car. Oh, my God. This life. This life, 
Never you look down on yourself. Never you give up on yourself. Be careful what you say to people. Be careful what you do to people. What goes up, what should come down. Life is not the way we think. Let you change, change your plan. Don't move any further. Where is this? Where exactly are we going to? Where are you taking me to? This place looks like kidnappers' den. Ma, this is where I live. This is my house. This is where I'm supposed to stay? Hell no! Ew! Ew! How do you expect me to survive in this slum? Oh my god, I can I can feel something crawling in my skin already. I, I'm out of here. Bring my bags. Ah! Ah! Kidnappers! They, they are not kidnappers. Call police! Mom, it's okay. It's okay. Where would you go to? Please calm down. It's okay. I know you've never lived in an environment like this before. But it's fine. I don't I want you to forget about the surroundings, forget about the neighborhood, and focus on your dreams. You have some, right? Yes, well, <laughs> my dream was to actually take over my dad's company and get married to George and live a happy, wealthy life. But how am I supposed to get that or achieve that in this slum? Who can't make that much dead? <laughs> don't do it, don't do it, guys. Ew! No, it's Touch fine, me. it's fine. No, they're not going to hurt you, guys. You don't do it. I'm talking about something, a dream that doesn't involve some other person. A dream that involves just you. You're done with school, right? Do you like your course of study? So, where do you see yourself five years? Get to the point. Is this an interview? No, it's not an interview. I just want you to know that you can focus on your dreams. You can get a mentor. You can still achieve something. That's, that's what gets me going here. You don't have to be discouraged by the environment. And for the guys here, they're not going to harm you. You see, we all know ourselves in this neighborhood and we are familiar with each other, yeah. You're familiar with kidnappers? No, they are not kidnappers, I assure Stop. you. Stop! Wait, 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 wait. Ma, don't worry. Where is the place? Take me! Take me already! Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't Don't worry. Hold me like that. Hold me. Nothing will happen. Call the police! That Ma, there's no police. Ah, ah, my, ah, our bag will fall, oh, and me, I will fall too. Oh. Ma, just wait, take it easy. Nothing, nothing is coming to come and hit you. Oh, just wait. Hey, <laughs> See, they cannot come back to the this house. <laughs> Who be that with you, Bogey, when we say a fair and his sister carry come like this? I mean, that low budget, uh, you are savage. He just said that he do any harm. I did tell you, see. And this one's again. Sit, sit. Not just stretch his feet there. See. He might not go touch ground. He might. He might not go ever touch ground. For this place, who would they? No one. What do you go tell her? No one. Ha. You don't understand? Mm. See. See. I don't understand this kind of person. Hey. Let's say she need a sheet. <laughs> kidnappers, kidnappers. Okay. Okay, he you be kidnapper. Now what's in the colors now? <laughs> I don't the third drone. I just See. watch on. No hey. one. Have fun now. Wait, if you near me, I go hose you. Bless the salt in the world here. Come on, come on.
So, where is the rest of the house? Uh, ma, just sit down first, ma. Just, ma, just sit down. You know you had a long day. Just rest. Speak. Please. Um, this is this is my room and this is where I live. One room. My oh my god. Oh my god. So when does he get to leave? When does he get to go to his own house? Why is he still here? Oh. Ew. You both are dating? No! No! No, yell at me! Sorry, 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 ma. See, see, ma, I'm sorry, right? Um, the thing is, Ife is my younger brother. And... What? Uh, I, sorry, I had to beg Oga Vincent because I know that if I go through you, when you needed a driver, you wouldn't have done it. That's why... Hmm. I see. So, one question. Hmm? If this is your room, so, where does he sleep? Ready? I want coffee, hot chocolate by the side, I want scrambled eggs, I, I want sausage, and I also want some fruits. That is the apples, okay? You, what are you standing there putting your hands on your waist? Run me a bath, okay? I need to call my supervisor. I'm running late. Oh my god. Yeah. My body. Oh. What are you doing? We don't work for her anymore. Now please stop with all this babysitting. Calm down. Just give her some time. She's been through a lot. How long do you want to continue with all this? We don't work for her anymore. Stop. Fee, just take it easy with her. Let me get something for her, okay? It's just... Ah! Hey, Timo. What is this yuckiness? Is this a luxury? Oh my God! Ew! What concussion is this? What did you give me to drink? I'm sorry, just manage it. Sorry for yourself. How can I forget that you don't even think with your head? So dumb! It's not. Can you get this door before it injures me? Oh my god! Sorry, just you! Lazy fool! All you do is just sit and do nothing! For how long? Don't worry. I just stopped. Since she doesn't want to be a responsible adult, but prefers to be a whining child, I would treat her same. Better because I'm getting tired of all this. Hey. The coward has decided to show his face. Why are you making noise? Oh, I'm making noise. I've been calling you. You, you even blocked my number. Why? I've tried. I've been looking for you everywhere. Why did you leave me now that I needed you the most? Why oh. do you listen to me? Oh, uh, of course, I'm homeless. My status has uh, dropped and all of a sudden, I'm no longer good for you. We're not, on, we're not on the same class anymore, right? Oh, really? You're talking about class, huh? When you were treating your house helps and your chefs like they were nothing, you didn't know about class. Look, I'm sorry that you feel this way, but 
I never thought that my life would end up with a spoiled brat. So I, I'm, I'm ending things. What? What? I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry. You just said you loved me. I did, actually. I did. So what is this? It, it, it just didn't make sense. I mean, spoiled brat, girl who was so rude to people. You go and chase away my family members. You go and beat my sisters up. Look, let's summarize things here. Yeah? I am sorry, but it's over, okay? Just get a life. Date someone else. There are a lot of fine boys out there, yeah? Just get alive, yeah? What? Sorry. I give you everything. I give you all my money, remember? Why do this to me? I don't have any rest. Oh, I'm homeless, George. You promised that I could stay in your house for as long as possible. Why now? Why do this? Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's what it is. Just learn a lesson, yeah? You said you loved me. I loved you. But... George! 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 This life, this life, never you hold down on yourself, never you give up on yourself. Be careful what you say to me. Be careful what you say to people. What goes up when you shut Life's not the way we think. This door, I hate this door. What's for dinner? Porridge. Hmm. Okay, I can manage that. I hope there's stockfish and some protein. Did you buy some fruits? I'm lacking vitamins. Okay, you can just sit there, fetch me water, boil it, and after I'm done with my shower, you can just have my dinner. Okay? There's firewood there. You're ready to bath. You boil water. Are you insane? Are you... Do you expect me to go to that, that mini shrine to boil water? Are you mad? Sorry, before I forget, water no the house, so... Oh, the water don't finish. <laughs> it don't finish, so... You will go that way, with the outside, go for water. So you will feel boiler. What? Well... I've never even seen that before. You want me to... to to fall inside that well, you want to use me for rituals, right? Is that what this is? Is that why you brought me here? Hey! You fall inside there. Yeah. What did you just say? But Mali, how dare you? Listen, I will never, ever do that. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> life. <laughs> This life, never you look down on yourself, never you give up on yourself. Be careful what you say to people, be careful what you do to people. Don't close up what you should do. Life's not the way we think it is. Change your plan.
this work. Who's hot or that? for my project defense. Ah, maybe I'll go to school tomorrow and find out what's happening. But how do I get to school? I don't have money for fuel. There's no fuel in the car. God, I'm so broke. What do I do? I need money. I can't continue like this. I need, I need to find a way I leave this shithole. Ah. Skin has already turned brown. My God, the dirty water. Ah, my God. Here's our number. Hello? Uh, it's me. I know you're surprised I'm calling you, considering the fact that we're, we're not close. You just cost me. Of course, I have a reason I'm calling you. Um, how do I say this? Uh, I, I, know, I know that you're well connected and I heard from someone that you have politicians and rich friends who who like pretty girls for the night. I don't know, like hook up. Wow, Sandy, is your phone act? I thought ah. your father was rich, rich. I know my father. I, well, I, I don't know how to explain this. I just need money urgently. Yes, I don't, yes, I I don't mind. If you can hook me up, I will, I will really appreciate. I'm, I'm really, really desperate. That's why I'm calling you. Okay, if you say so. Okay. You help me. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. I really need this. You're now fine, babe. Now sure. We get back to you. I, I'll be waiting for your, for your feedback. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Is this what you do now? If I need money. I'll just try it. Please, Omo. I need hot water.
Hello, Thelma. What is that that you just put, Sandy? Do you know the client I gave you? Do you know how long and what it took me to get that kind of connection? Only for you to destroy it in a single of an eye. I'm so sorry for any loss I must have caused you. I tried, but that's not who I am. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I just couldn't bring myself to do that. I've never done this before. I, I've, I've never slept with anyone for money. I know I'm desperate, but this is not who I am. Please try and understand. Just get off my phone, idiot, and keep away from me, because if I see you anywhere, what I'll do to you, you won't, you won't like it. Oh, uh, uh. You made a wise decision. What are you talking about? I overheard your conversation in the morning with the said Thelma. I'm sorry about that, but honestly, I'm proud of you. And I know your dad would also be proud of you wherever he is. You took the wise decision. Well. Wise decision isn't going to pay my bills with it. I still need to get money and leave this dungeon. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I called you a dungeon. Wow. So you can apologize now. That's some major growth. I'm happy about that. I, I know I've been a hard nose to crack. I'm sorry for making life difficult for you and your sister. It's fine. Yeah, sometimes you come up with this horrible attitude. But you're not totally a bad person. I think it's just because we are both raised differently. If you were in our shoes, I believe it would be a lot more better. Okay. Can I ask you a question? What's that? How did you end up here? <laughs> What's your backstory? Well, how was childhood for you? And what happened to your parents? Our father died while we were very young. When our mom got to 18, we lost our mom. Our mom has always been a great cook. So one day, a family friend got her cooking job in the city. That was how she came to work for you. Myself, on the other hand, I've always had passion for academics. And I was doing really well. But things got so hard, there was no money to continue. I had to learn how to drive so I can fend for myself and also support her more. After school, I couldn't get a job. That was how I came to work for you. That's such a sad story. I never knew any of this. I was so mean to you. I've never had any first-hand experience or relationship with anyone like you. I mean, who lives in this slum. I know the country is hard and people are suffering. I, mean, I know poverty is real. 
about having to pass through this hardship at a young age. I can only imagine how that feels. I don't think I can even survive that. I'm so sorry that I talked down on you and I looked down on you and your sister. It's fine. I don't totally blame you. You grew up in a different world. You had everything handed over to you. So you don't know what life is like outside here. But now, I like this new you. You're welcome. So, I guess we should do this all over again, maybe, for a start. Yeah. My name is Sandy. You can call me Sandy. Sandy? <laughs> Love is a magic power of greatness. Love comes with success. There is love in the air. Love in the air, I can feel it right now. There is love in the air, love in the air, I can feel it right now. I am feeling it, hey, right in my face. I am feeling it, oh, deep down in my heart, I love you. I'm crazy about you.
Love is a magic power of greatness. Love comes with success. There is love in the air, love in the air. I can feel it right now. There is love in the air, love in the air. I can feel it right now. I am feeling it. You like how it? Sad your course. How did you know? <laughs> you don't know me. It started since from her late father's house now. The way you look at her. I mean, Sandy is a changed person. She has done some growing up. But Ify, you've never been this happy in years. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. But, but I, I can't tell her. Why not? I really want to dive those feelings of yours. That is a changed person. Sis, this can't work. I mean, we are worlds apart. The both of us, we, we're from two separate worlds. And I don't want to say something that is going to scare her away. I'm liking the new her. She has changed. I don't want something that will just make her go away. Ify. And she's beginning to get comfortable around here. Ify. It's just a matter of time before she finds out. I mean, Sandy is not dumb. Even your words, even though you don't tell her any words, your actions will tell. Ify. Love is a beautiful thing. You never know, she might reciprocate. Because I've been seeing the way she has been looking at you. You know, she enjoys your company. But what, what if she doesn't reciprocate? You just have to tell her if he... You can do it once she's done bathing. You know, you never know, you just have to, right? Cheer up! <laughs> Why so serious? Um, there's this company I submitted my CV to. So I'm checking to see if I'll see a mail from them. Oh, they are looking for drivers? No. Oh, you want to try your hands on other things? Ah, let me take this call. It cost me too. Hello, girl. I'm all right. No, I didn't travel. <laughs> Wait, people still go on vacation in this country. Must be nice, though. Yeah, when I see this money. Me? I'm in the country. Oh, well, you haven't been seeing me because and I live in the slum. <laughs> no, it's a very long story. George? I haven't heard from him. We broke up months ago. No. What? I haven't been checking my mail. Really? You know what? Um, just send me the link, okay? I, I, just share the link. Share the link. Let me just check and call you back. Oh my God. What is it? George. You said George was arrested by the EFCC for fraud and his company is under investigation. She just sent a link, hold on. She duped a German woman of 100,000 euros. And she arrested him and, and see, oh my God. He has been a scammer. Why? Why are you not surprised? Because I'm not. I don't understand. 
what's this intuition you have about George? Each time I mention his name, you're always so adamant. Is that something you're not telling me? You know, when I started walking out your house, I overheard him on this call with someone. was a woman. He never loved me. He was only using me as a pawn for my father's wealth. Reasons why he just he disappeared the moment we went bankrupt. I can't believe I was with such a man. I can't believe I had anything to do with him. No, don't say that. You should be grateful you didn't end up with a scammer. My skin still cross each time I remember that I dated him. I'm just happy I didn't end up as his wife. It's fine. At least you are safe here, baby. Just call me, baby. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. You were vulnerable for a moment. <laughs> Sis, would you believe this guy finally sent me an email? Are you serious? Let me see. What's happening? Your first interview. I've been pinching myself. What's happening? Somebody fill me in. <laughs> you know the email you saw me checking the other day? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there was this multinational oil company that I sent my CV to. I applied for a job as an accountant with them. Mm -hmm. Wait, accountant? Yes, I'm a graduate. What? <laughs> you remember I told you a story of how I had to learn driving. Mm -hmm. When I turned 21. Yes. When I started earning money, I had to quickly enroll into the university to study as an accountant. So upon graduation, I searched the whole nation for a good paying job. At least a job that befits me, but poor me, I couldn't get any. So I had to fall back to my former driving job. That was when I came to work for you. This is so unreal. Accountant? Mm -hmm. Who would have thought? The thing is, I didn't bother explaining to you the day you asked me of the email because I, I lost hope. I wasn't even considering myself to be in this kind of situation again. I totally lost hope. But well, here it is. Oh my god, this is amazing. So, finally, so when is the interview? When are you going? Yeah. You get it. You <laughs> surely get a job. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so you much. You pray. Thank you. To graduate. Happy for you too. Thank you. Oh. Accountant. See, you would have thought. <laughs> so, what, what are you saying? Love is a magic power of greatness. Love comes with success. There is love in the air, love in the air, I can feel it right now. There is love in the air, love in the air, I can feel it right now. I am feeling it, hey, right in my face. I am feeling it, oh, deep down in my heart. I'm crazy about you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Well, it's old. I deserve a change of hair. Thank you. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I got the job! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so proud of you. Yes. After all these years of waiting, I got a good job. The best I The best for you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You know, it couldn't have come at a more better time than this. I mean, if it had come earlier, I wouldn't have met you. <laughs> I just feel some delays are a blessing in disguise. At least now I can take good care of you. Well, and I can give you a better life. <laughs> <laughs> better life or not, I'll be happy wherever you are. A great man once told me that the greatest thing in life is human relationships. I never used to make sense out of that until I came here. Until I, I moved in here with you both. Omo. How do I even start? You showed me kindness even when you had no right to or any reason whatsoever to. I came in here without anything. He took me in. He tolerated me. He never for one day scolded me for being a brat. She became my maid, even when I don't have any money to pay you. I lost everything. I still didn't learn a lesson. I, I, I was spoiled um, all my life. I, I never, I, I was never prepared for this. I was handed everything. I never knew how to appreciate anything. You're my family. You. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. I always love you. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Yeah. This life. This life. Never you load down on yourself. Never you give up on yourself. Be careful what you say to people. Be careful what you do to people. What goes up, what should come down. Life's not the way. 